Okay, good afternoon Year 7. Uh, this afternoon we're going to be looking at how to turn rock salt into pure salt. So the objective, can I turn rock salt into pure salt in four processes? And then can I explain each of those processes using the three physical properties, brittleness, solubility and boiling point? Okay, this is rock salt. And it's rock that's got salt in it. And you can see some of the salt in there. And the first process that I'm going to use is simply the process of crushing using this pestle and mortar. And the reason that rock salt can very, very easily be crushed is because of one of its physical properties. And that is that it's very brittle. Okay? So the salt within the rock salt is very brittle, so I'm able to crush it. That's process number one. Okay, so having done that, process number two is going to be dissolving. Okay, so I'm going to put some of my rock salt into the beaker of water, like so. And we'll give that a good stir. And so this process here is dissolving, and the physical property of salt that I'm sort of using here is the idea that salt is soluble. It's very, very soluble. And so I'm hoping that the salt will now be dissolving in the water. Okay. Process three is going to be filtration. Okay, so I've already got a conical flask with a funnel and the filter paper. And I'm going to pour some of my mixture through the filter paper and again we're using the idea about the solubility of salt so if the salt is soluble and it has dissolved in the water then it should carry through the filter paper so at the bottom here should be a salt water solution this is my filtrate whereas in the filter paper at the top we will have probably bits of rock that did not dissolve because the rock itself is not soluble. Okay, So stage three, filtration to separate the rock which is not soluble from the salt which is soluble. And the final stage, stage four, is evaporation. So I'm going to put some of my salt water solution into here and up here, here above the water bath and what will happen is that the water in here will evaporate once it reaches its boiling point and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The salt that's dissolved in the water will not boil. I would need to get it much, much hotter than, than, than this is going to get. So I will be able to get my pure salt back from that solution once the water has evaporated. And what we would begin to see is salt crystals, pure salt crystals, appearing around the edge of the evaporating basin. Okay. So the four processes in summary were crushing, followed by dissolving, followed by filtration, and finally evaporation. How to get pure salt from rock salt. Okay, thank you everybody.